Hey y'all, welcome to Centenary College of Louisiana here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, my name is Meg Hamilton. I'm going to be taking you on a tour today. I am a senior here. I am a biology major and involved in a ton of things like honor clubs, Greek life, and even student ambassadors. Um, our first stop on the tour today is going to be the Turner Arts Center. Over there, there's a bunch of really cool things for the visual arts. We have a painting room, a sculpting room. Um, we even have a Mac computer lab. So if you don't have a computer and you like Apple products, feel free to go over there and use the lab anytime you want. And I'm Miguel Vasquez. This is my third year here at Centenary College studying mathematics and physics. I'm also a member of the Centenary swimming team and involved in many organizations as well, like Student Ambassadors and FCA. Just around the corner here is Meadows Museum of Art. It's the only accredited museum in this area of Louisiana and completely open to the public to see our rotating exhibits. Students also have free access and we have an opportunity to gain passport points, which will go on later in the tour. Centenary College was founded in 1825 in Jackson, Louisiana. In 1908, we decided to move to Shreveport, Louisiana and named our first building on campus, Jackson Hall, in memory of our founding place. In 1908, it was home to everything from professor's offices to classrooms and even horse stables. That's not the case anymore. Now, it's home to our Frost School of Business, foreign language programs, and aspects of our Trek program. Here's our Centenary Bookstore home to all of our neat centenary swag. We got everything from license plates to polos to jackets and other trinkets. Our college textbooks can be purchased on our eCampus bookstore with prices comparable to Amazon and Chegg. Let's go check on Megan Randalls. So this is Randalls. It is found in the Student Union Building. This is going to be the other option for meals on this campus. Um, it's fast food, made to order type of stuff, so hamburgers, french fries, quesadillas, things like that. Um, you just come in, you have your student ID, you'll use it like it's a debit card, it'll be loaded with a certain amount of money each semester. You just walk up, order, pay, and it's just like any other restaurant. We also have a Starbucks in here, which is really awesome. So after you finish your awesome meal of popcorn chicken and french fries, you can come out here to this little hangout area of the sub. Um, you can rent out a Wii or an Xbox. We have pool tables and ping pong tables. A lot of students will come here between classes um, or during meals just to chill with their friends. Up on the second floor, we have our student newspaper, The Conglomerate, our student magazine, The Pandora, and also our student radio station, KSCL. All of those organizations are run by students. They hold all of the positions for each of them, so students are super involved with all that kind of stuff. Down on the next floor below us, we have the Res Life offices as well as the student mailroom. All right, so as we exit out of the back of the Student Union building, ahead of us we can see our beautiful Arboretum. Um, this was put in place by one of our past biology professors who has since retired. Uh, he wanted to show students what they could see in real life as well as in textbooks. All right, we're going to go meet up with Miguel at some of the dorms. Rotary Hall is one of our five residence halls on campus. Back behind me is Klein Hall, which we'll go check out right after this. Inside Rotary is our nicer apartment style living. Comes equipped with couches and a kitchen in a main living area. Usually upperclassmen live in Rotary because living here is picked based off of GPA and credit hours. Come with me to Klein. We've made it to Klein Hall. Klein really is a unique dorm on campus. A lot of freshmen choose to live here among other athletes because it really does have a social environment feel. In the middle is a very open courtyard making it feel like a New Orleans apartment style. Klein has a small lobby at the bottom called the fishbowl where people like to study, watch TV, and just hang with friends. I'd like to point out that all of our dorms on campus are locked except to residents of that dorm. All of our dorms on campus come with free Wi-Fi, a main kitchen, a lobby area, and of course, free laundry. Let's head to the fit. On the top floor of the fitness center, we have free weights, machines, and cardio equipment. We also have rooms open for stretching, dance classes, yoga classes, Pilates classes, and jujitsu classes that are open to students and free of charge daily. Just around the corner, we have a new driving simulator for the golf team and a racquetball area. On the first floor of the fit, we have our swimming pool and our gymnasium, and our basement has power racks and is home to an athletic weight room for our athletic programs. So behind me here is Smith Building. It is located between the Fitness Center and Centenary Square. Uh, this building houses the Religious Studies Department and the Philosophy Department. It also has a little Bible study group known as CLC. Behind me here we have Brown Chapel. Centenary is affiliated with the United Methodist Church and we offer church services every Tuesday. Um, you are not required to go to any church services, but they are there should you want to. 
Uh, right behind Brown Chapel, we have our Centenary Square uh, that houses our Psychology Department, our Masters of Education Department, as well as our DPS, our Department of Public Safety. And those are going to be real Shreveport police that are helping out our campus, patrolling 24-7 and making sure our campus stays safe. We're here on the first floor of Mickle in front of the Carlisle Auditorium, one of the larger lecture halls on campus. Mickle set up as first floor, physics and geology, second floor, biology, and third floor, chemistry. There are plenty of opportunities for students to collaborate with faculty on research presentations and attend conferences with them. Mickle is actually open 24 hours for any student on campus who'd like to study or do more research. So behind me we have the Irene K. Wright Math Building. Um, this is where any math or computer science class is going to be held. Along this road as well we have our Greek life houses. We have about 34 percent of our campus involved in Greek life. Um, it's a really great way to meet people. It's a lot of fun. We have two sororities on campus, Chi Omega and Zeta Tau Alpha, and we have three fraternities, Tau Kappa Epsilon, Kappa Sigma, and Kappa Alpha. We're standing here in front of the Miguel Library. The basement has our history and political science classes. The first floor has our computer lab, free printing for any student on campus, and our quiet areas for studying. Our second floor houses our books, free tutoring in any subject that a student might need, and a presentation room. Out in the lobby, you'll see an exhibit that changes every few months that students can actually get passport points for logging into. Passport points are part of a program we have for graduation called the TREK program with five components. Credo, challenge, community, career, and culture. Passport points correlate to real dollars that students can use for a flight to another country to study abroad. If you have an interest in music, we hope you consider our Hurley School of Music. We have a few ensembles on campus, such as our wind ensemble, camarada, and percussion ensembles. These not only consist of students and faculty from Centenary, but even professional instrumentalists from around the city. We even have scholarships available for those that excel in music. Just beyond our Hurley School of Music is our Marjorie Lyons Playhouse, home to our theater department. Our theater program takes a neat liberal arts approach to theater so that the student not only learns about acting, but all elements of theater, such as lighting, stage design, engineering, etc. Our theater program puts on about four to five shows a year, and they're free for the students to attend. So behind me we have Bynum Commons. It's going to hold two things. It's going to hold the whited room first. That is a fancier styled room for things like open houses and luncheons. Um, and then we have the cafeteria, which is our other meal option on campus. Uh, again, you have to bring your student ID and you swipe it whenever you get in there and you have an open buffet for you to eat whenever you're there. So behind me here we have three dorms that are going to make up our north side residence halls. We have Sexton, James, and Harden. Um, just like all the other dorms, they're going to have the same amenities of free Wi-Fi, free laundry, and free cable. Um, in every dorm, we are going to have a kitchen area that can be used by anyone living in that dorm. It provides a stove, an oven, a refrigerator, a microwave. You just have to have your own pots and pans. Um, and then there's also an awesome little lobby area that you can just chill and hang out with friends if you want to stay in the dorm for that evening. All right, welcome to our last stop on today's tour. We hope you've had an awesome time getting to see our beautiful campus. Behind me here is our amphitheater. It is called The Shell to students. It is newly renovated to add some more seating for us to be able to sit and hang out and watch some awesome performances. Um, Miguel and I have had an awesome time showing you around and we really hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.